We're still working on finishing building the interior of it and lumber workers threatened to bomb their house if they moved in. Working. You're like not in the shadow. Okay, so we're. Now I have a leaf in my face. You have a leaf in your face. So I'm here with Leaf Face. Really? His hair is now blonde. His hair is now blonde ish. Ish. And we're on 21st slash Oshkosh Ave. And behind us is the Pain Art Center. And over there is the Oshkosh Museum. Right, right there. So we're here because that house, the we keep saying we're going to show you is being moved down the road or it's been moved down the road we'll find out and we're going to go so. finally show you it yep because Peyton got to go see it earlier Peyton got to go see it and we didn't picture the Peyton in the house right there <laughs> center it's very sunny over here they're the ones who own sorry they're the ones who own the house that got moved because they're building a new parking lot so they paid a dollar they paid a dollar to buy the house because it's like a historical site and but they had to agree that they would actually like safely move it yep and apparently they own a house, house moving, moving company, company. <laughs> so it worked out for them but the pain we'll have to tell you more of the background behind it but basically it's this really historical building here in Oshkosh you can go in it it's now a museum um and they do different like specialty gallery stuff and everything in it as well but you can go through and see the different rooms but it was basically like the richest family in Oshkosh used to own it and one of the really cool stories behind it is that apparently on the steps right there, there was a rumor that somebody had placed a bomb. What? So, yeah. What? You know the story about the bomb? No. Yeah, so they thought that there was... What was this? Like, way back when it was oh. first built or whatever, they thought somebody put a bomb in there. And because okay. people, like, didn't like them because they were rich or something. It might not even ever actually have happened. It's just one of those... It's one of those stories when you grow up living here, you hear about it. But it's a really beautiful building. They have really nice. Well, they used to have really nice gardens behind it, and then they replaced them with a wedding area. So that's it. Well, the Paint Art Center's there. This is where the house used to be. It's now going to be a parking lot. And earlier today, they drove it down this road. You can see tire marks everywhere. To where it's like we put. Way in the distance. Yeah, we'll we'll go up there, <laughs> but it's it's over there now. Should we do that with our apartment building? I don't think I'd just be like sitting under it. I like that they put a big flag on it. I didn't even notice the people just sitting under there. Yeah. Well, you figure if it's gonna fall, it would have done it by now when they drove down the road with it. So they literally just set it down the, the pylons? Is it like their makeshift, like, uh. Should we get a poor foundation? But that's already on part of it. Yeah, that's, I guess that's where the tires are gonna go when they drive out. I, Where do you put, I'm so confused. How do you put it back down? How do you get it up in the first place? I, I wish we'd seen that bird. <laughs> it just looks so surreal. Just sitting there drinking Miller Light. It's Wisconsin, you have to drink beer. So weird. It's amazing that wood is strong enough to drive out on. How do you even drive it? Is it attached to something when you drive it? I doubt it. Jeez. But look at each one of these hydraulic lifts is a trailer. I so they drive all these here. You like how they have a person who's constantly checking if it's level over there? Yeah. Well, if it shifts at all, it's going to all break. Well, this can crack all up I mean, there. Well, can you imagine if the thing fell? It'd be kind of amazing. Is that the wrong attitude to have?
just all the chains. Looking at this thing and realizing it's really just C clamps. I can't really focus, but C clamps holding this thing together. Each of the beams to the hydraulic lifts and the beams to each other. Where's the? There's the. Okay. So I was looking it up to verify about the whole bomb thing, and what it was was. You're very blown out. Yes, I am randomly. I don't know why all of a sudden. Okay, so to explain about the bomb thing, what it was is the, the Paynes who built the place, they built it originally for them to live in, and they owned the lumber company here in Ashkosh. And when the Great Depression hit, it kind of like crippled their company, right? So all of the lumber people were really like pissed off basically because they were all out of jobs and everything. And so when they went to, they were still working on finishing building the interior of it, and the lumber workers threatened to bomb their house if they moved in. Um, so the story behind that that I've always heard is that they actually claimed that they planted a bomb in the front steps and that's why they didn't move in for fear that that was there. Um, but then I guess in 1946 they returned to it and it says establish a nonprofit organization to own and manage the estate for public benefit. So they never like fully lived lived there. They basically went from it being a house and they never moved into it to it being like a public something or other than it got turned into a museum because there was a bomb threat. So, yep, that's the story. So any of you kids wanting to make bomb threats, they can be effective. Would it take away from it? Um, no. No, oh, okay. No. Well, explain to me what you were supposed to take away from that then. Wow. Sorry, I was just reading further. The wife, uh, so Mrs. Payne, especially for that time period. Was she a Payne? She lived to be 100 years old. Wow. 1973 is when she actually passed away. Wow. So that's when it actually, like... And she actually... So it was a museum prior to that, and she was the president of it. And then she passed away, and it got passed on. So... Wow. wow. But anyway, that's the cool history behind it. Um, maybe we can take you in there sometime. They're a little weird about filming in there sometimes and taking pictures because when they have, like, my mom made this mistake, they had Picasso stuff there once, like, they had, like, plates and stuff that he had done or whatever, which I didn't even know he painted on plates, but apparently he did at some point. And we were looking at his stuff, and, um, my mom took a picture of, like, the table they had set up with the plates, and, like, this guard, like, walks up to her and is all, like, I'm going to need to remove your camera from your person and take your camera from you and blah blah blah. She's like, can I just delete the picture? And he's like, I'm going to have to watch you do it. So to watch her delete the picture. I remember they got but really weird. She only deleted one and we still have one. <laughs> your mom's a rebel. Yeah, I remember when they had the Ansel Adams um, from the Ansel Adams mm. Foundation had stuff here, was it last year or the year before? They got Jeez, really so weird. Photography, right? Okay, yeah, they got really weird about people taking pictures because the Ansel Adams Foundation is very protective of his stuff. Which, if you don't know his work, in yeah, you can here. Google it. It's on Google, well, but you can't take pictures yeah, of it. It's all black and white photography, just really gorgeous stuff. Like, well, yeah, especially for the time period that he was working with and the, the equipment he was working with. Like, he did a lot of like he hand edited everything. Because the they're film. very extreme. Like, they're not the normal. Like, if you would take a black and white photo, obviously, normally, it's, right. it's not super contrasty. Mm -hmm. um, especially when you didn't really have all of the camera options that we have now. And he did all sorts of hand burning and dodging. Yes. Of, and they're, they're massive prints. Like, and by hand, I mean, we literally mean, like, when you're going to develop the image. He held, like, things in front yeah. of them. and We learned all about it, and we actually had to learn how to do some of it in the photography class we took. Ours was, turned out pretty bad. But there's we have pictures of Percy. That's true. I don't know if I have any of those digital though, so I, I can't. You hold up. We'll go home and hold one up. Here's Percy. Or then we can hold up Percy and be like, here's Percy. Yeah, okay, you get to hold him up. By the way, Peter was riding him like a horse. 
Was that earlier today or last yes. night? Last night? No, it was today she sat mm -hmm. on him. He was laying down and she said, I ride kitty. And so she went and sat on him. And he, he actually dealt with it fairly well. He wasn't too happy though. But he didn't do anything. That's good. But anyway. Should probably be done. I don't know what we're doing. Mm -hmm.